devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You know, the lights are out. They cut off the light just before we started praying. So you can hear noise in the background. That's the generator, that song. But we're still going to pray. We are still going to worship Him. We're still going to worship Him. We're still going to worship Him. You get used to this kind of stuff. You know, you just get used to it. That's what I'm saying to listen to me. When you wake up every morning, please try to understand that life that you have gives you an opportunity to stand in the face of the adversary and let the adversary know that you are a child of the Most High God. We serve a wonderful God. We serve a wonderful God. We serve a wonderful God. He is the embodiment of truth. Do you hear me? He is the embodiment of truth. I've been telling you this all year round for about two years now. Please, the time has come for us to understand that life is the most valuable thing that we have. Notice that when all of this stuff was happening in London, people were being escorted, watch this now, from premises and from places. But every material thing stayed in its original place. Whether it was a car, whether it was, you know, a... Uh, uh, a machine it stayed where it was the most valuable thing was gotten rid of or was you know uh you know was told to leave where you are and go to a secured place people people were told to leave their hotel rooms and go to a secure place because what just now the building or the hotel is not the most valuable thing I keep saying this to you. Every now and again, God has a way of getting his message across. Every now and again, God has a way of using situations to give us revelation. And I just called it this morning. Listen to me. The most valuable thing that you have, Sister Carol, is not the clothes in your closet. It's not the shoes in your shoes closet. It is not the cars on your driveway. When you wake up in the morning, those are not the things that you need to look at before you give God praise. Are you hearing, are you hearing what I'm saying, Dr. Nikisha? It is not the husband or the wife that is laying next to you or that is not laying next to you. That is not what you look at to give God praise. What you look at to give God praise is the fact that you woke up what just now or before you got up. Listen, you could still do... And what this now? You are not hooked to a respirator. You are not hooked to no machines. See, but you could just do. The fact that you could do that, what this now, makes you understand. Or you need to know that, listen to me, you are the most, that, listen, that is why the fight is not, listen, the enemy uses those material things. To try to let you feel as though you are inferior. Listen, I go through that, you go through that. And the day that we recognize that, listen, I am the most valuable thing. I am the most valuable person. There is nothing that is more valuable than me. When I place emphasis and I place value on me, then I defeat the enemy. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things shall be added unto you. Notice that he says all of these things. He places them in a category. All of these things. Every morning as we seek the face of God. Every morning as we guide and we protect our house. When I say your house, I mean your children. I mean everyone that is connected to you. The more we pray, the more we cover them. The more, listen, the more the enemy gets mad because we understand what is value. Look at what we pray for. Mondays we pray for women. Then we pray for men. Then we pray for our neighborhood. Then we pray for leaders. You know, we pray for the children. Most of us, listen, we're not praying for material things. And this is why it is not popular. Because you can only gain popularity when you start talking about material things.
I want your brains to be rewired. I want our minds to be rewired. We've seen enough on the news over the last couple of weeks to let you know that whether you like it, yes or no, the enemy is at work. The principalities and the powers have been unleashed. Demonic assignment has taken priority. And we can only, we can only take what God has given to us as the foundation of the universe when we exercise our rights, when we exercise our ability, when we exercise what he's given to us. This morning, I want you to be with me in prayer. I want to drop a scripture in your spirit that we're going to stand on to pray. Go to the book of Proverbs. Go to the book of Proverbs. I want us to pray. Go to the book of Proverbs. Go to the book of Proverbs. Keep saying this to you. If we feel like we can leave it in the hands of our security agents, trust me, they can't do it. They can't do it. If we feel like, you know, we're going to leave them to handle things, they can't do it. Rather, it is you and I. We can empower them through prayer. We can empower them through prayer. We can lead them to the right places. We can position them spiritually. We can pray that they receive the right information. We can pray that they don't go off, you know, seeking the wrong targets. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 21, are you there? Proverbs 21. Proverbs 21, verse 12. I want you to highlight that this morning. It's going to be our prayer point. Proverbs 21, verse 12. Listen to this now. The righteous God wisely considers the house of the wicked, overthrowing the wicked for their wickedness. Did you just read that? The righteous God wisely considers the house of the wicked, overthrowing the wicked for their wickedness. The wicked has already been overthrown. The wicked has already been overthrown. And listen to me, anything or any time, if you study history, when something or somebody is being overthrown, there's chaos because it is not a normal fight. Because the person that is being overthrown, what is now knows that it is their last stand, and they will pull every trick out of the book to make sure that they don't get overthrown. The enemy knows already the end. I need you this morning to help us, you know, establish. Let this word, let this scripture become the law in the realms of the spirit. Let it become the law on the land of the living. That is why we wage a good warfare. This scripture will become a law in the land. That is why when, when you're praying, these are what you call governmental prayers. Prayers that you pray to establish the order of God. You see what I'm saying? It is the will of God, the righteous God that we serve. He has an ability to overthrow wickedness. So that means that anybody that practice wickedness, what is now, has to be overthrown. Because God has, that's why listen to me, he said, whatever you bind, on earth has already been bound in heaven dr nikisha whatever you lose here on this earth it has because listen forever oh lord thy word is settled in heaven this word is already settled in heaven it is up to you and i now to reinforce it reinforce it let's reinforce this word let's reinforce this word Let's reinforce this word. 
let's reinforce this way listen the only reason why some of this stuff happens is because of the vacuum which has been created as a result of a lack of prayer it is because of prayerlessness because we didn't know what is now that there is a scripture in the book of proverbs chapter 21 verse 12 see we didn't know that the god that we serve is able or has already overthrown the practice or those who practice wickedness god has already handled them god has already what is now destroyed their plots and their plans and you and i now have a mandate written in the book of proverbs to make sure that they are overthrown in jesus mighty name so do i have people with me tonight this morning this afternoon who will reinforce the law of jehovah in the name of jesus let's pray holy spirit righteous god we humbly come before you we humbly come before you we humbly come before you women of god i want to hear your voice this is your day this is the hour for the women to cry out let there be a cry not just coming out of your mouth but coming from the inner part of your belly that place where it hurts that place where you know once you have released prayer from there you know you have tapped into the heavens you know you have tapped into glory you know you have tapped into the supernatural there has to be a crying out that comes from the inner part of you in the name of jesus let us cry out this morning in jesus mighty name hallelujah holy ghost we thank you holy spirit we thank you father god we elevate our thoughts this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it father god let the wickedness of the wicked one father let it come to naught in jesus mighty name let the wickedness of the wicked one let it come to naught in jesus mighty name let the wickedness of the wicked one let it come to naught in jesus mighty name the bible says when we clap and when we stomp our feet and when we declare the righteousness of god so shall it be in the name of jesus clap those hands this morning in the name of jesus father god we come against the wickedness of the wicked one the household of wickedness the ambassador for wickedness that is the devil the principalities and the powers let their powers be overthrown let their wills be overthrown in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus let their powers be overthrown let their kingdoms be overthrown let their powers be brought to naught in the mighty name of jesus we command their assignments to be broken we command their assignments to be broken father nullify their threats father nullify their power father nullify their power in the mighty name of jesus let their powers be nullified let the authorities be nullified in the mighty name of jesus the grass withers the flowers fade but the word of our god shall stand forever in the name of jesus father god let that wickedness be cancelled 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 in the mighty name of jesus let that wickedness be cancelled we say 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 wickedness be cancelled let the sword of the wicked one be cancelled let the sword of the wicked one be cancelled let the spear of the wicked one be cancelled let the weapons of the wicked one be cancelled in the the mighty name in the mighty name in the mighty name in the mighty name in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus we cancel it from now and forevermore we cancel it from now and forevermore in the name of jesus 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 let the wickedness of the wicked one be cancelled let the household of wickedness be eliminated in the mighty name in the mighty name in the mighty name in the mighty name jesus is lord so we cancel it jesus is lord so we exterminate it let the wickedness be cancelled 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 let that dark assignment be cancelled in the name of jesus we praise thy name O lord 
We praise thy name, O Lord. 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 I said, we praise thy name, O Lord. We praise thy name, O Lord. Let your name be praised. For now and forevermore, let your name be praised. For now and forevermore, let your name be praised. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Want everybody just to take a couple of seconds, do me a favor, just be silent in his presence. Just be quiet in his presence. In Jesus' name. I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, for I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, it is to give you an expected end. give you an expected end, an end that is only known by me, and as you draw closer to me, as you come up higher, I will show you things that you never knew, draw closer to me, draw closer to me. Draw closer to me, and I will show you what you didn't know before. That is the word of the Lord to us this morning. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding inside. God is good. I'm telling you, God is good. God is good. God is good. He just spoke. He just spoke. Let's draw closer to him. Okay, very much easier said than done, but let's draw closer to him. Let's draw closer to him because he is our father. He is our father. He is our father. And we bless him for all that he's done for us. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you this morning. God bless you this morning. Thank you so much. God is good. Doesn't matter what comes our way, we will stand and we will declare his goodness in Jesus' name. We cover all the major spots, all the major targets, whatever the enemy is plotting and planning, we cover with the precious blood of Jesus. Jesus is our Savior. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Now go have a blessed day. Your day is blessed. In Jesus' name. Sorry, before I go, lift your hands. Just open up your hands. Open up your hands this morning. Father, I want to pray for the hands of your children. Those who support this ministry. And those who support kingdom assignment generally. I pray for them, God. Cover them. Bless their hands. Because that's what you say. That you will bless the works of our hands. 
bless the hands of your children. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day, okay? I have a few updates for you with regards to the uh, farm. I'm going to get it to you as soon as I get it, okay? God bless you. I love you all. God bless you. Bye-bye.